What is up everyone? Welcome back to Own the Hunt. Today I'm going to talk about tripods and why I upgraded. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're in the new Own the Hunt studio, made possible by you guys and my family. If it weren't for you guys showing interest in the channel, I probably wouldn't have had the motivation to make this happen. Thankfully, my family stand behind me and my friends, so I brought you guys a studio. This studio is gonna be a game changer for the channel. I think with this studio, I'm gonna be able to bring high quality professional videos to you guys and hopefully help you guys make some decisions when you're buying your hunting gear. So today we're here to talk about my new tripod, which if you guys follow the channel, you know I upgraded from a bog death grip tripod. Why did I upgrade from a bog death grip tripod? Well, simply because I wanted full range of motion with my rifle. The reason I went with a new tripod is because with the bog, if I was on uneven ground, there was no way for me to level my rifle as I swung. Those of you who have a bog death grip probably know what that feels like. You're standing there in a field, your tripod's not level, you swing on an animal or a target, your reticle then can't. Well, that's a problem. In comes a new tripod. So this tripod, guys, is an NRL tripod. The company is very well known for tripods. This happens to be one of their big tripods. These are designed for photography and videography. However, they've become really, really popular in the hunting and shooting sports industry. The reason why is they're very affordable and they're incredibly well built for the money. This tripod features a 44 millimeter ball head, a quick adjust top plate. You have 10 layer carbon fiber legs that are very, very strong. You've got quick turn knobs, three of them for three sections of legs, removable feet that you can screw all the way out, put spikes in, which are included with the, the package. This tripod also has an adjustable top, which you can raise up and down. And I'll throw some video in there of me doing that. Now this has quite a bit of adjustment, well over a foot, probably 18 inches or so. And that will give you additional length when you need it. This tripod costs $259. Now, if you buy it on Amazon, which is where I bought it, you can get a really, really nice discount of 5%. That brings it down to about $250, no shipping and tax. So pretty awesome package for $250. I'm extremely happy with it. My hunting partner, Brandon, has purchased one and he's very happy with it. I did make an adjustment to this tripod. I swapped out the plate that comes with it for a Sunway Photo adapter plate. Now this plate works with Arca Swiss mounts, which I have one on my rifle. I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit. But what I wanted on this plate was the ability for my rifle to be locked in. That way, if I'm carrying this tripod over my shoulder, which I frequently do in the field, my rifle wouldn't come out somehow. I was hunting with Brandon a few nights ago and his actually came out of his, which was a, a bummer. Luckily, we had a lot of snow and his rifle kind of fell in the snow, so it wasn't a big deal. But if that had fallen on hard ground, like concrete or asphalt or even gravel, it, it really could have damaged his rifle, his optic, let alone just Taken, taken his optic out of zero. So a locking plate is pretty important. Now I paid about $40 for this top plate. You can buy one that's a little bit shorter. And in my opinion, you could definitely get away with that. I didn't know at the time, so I just bought the longer plate, but you could definitely get away with their 40 or 50. Now this is the Sunway Photo DDC 60 LR top plate. So I'm just talking about this top plate here, guys. Works great no issues there and it's actually really solid the lockup is really solid i don't have any fear of my rifle falling out of this tripod so that's an adjustment i made i want to show you guys the <clears throat> plate you would get if you buy this tripod uh, nothing wrong with it in fact it works well and i used it for a couple of weeks and my rifle never fell out i just had a little bit of kind of paranoia that it could happen so this is the plate you get it's just a thumb screw basically you screw it in screw it out and you know that's that i mean there's no there's no locking mechanism now i suppose if you really got on this thing tighten it really really tight yes you can definitely get it super tight but there's always a chance something could hit that and just loosen it and it just has to loosen a hair guys i mean just a little bit and then your rifle can slide right out of this thing so 
you probably want to upgrade to a locking plate. I'll put links to everything in the description if you guys are interested. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features of this tripod that I haven't already mentioned. So when you go to the Amazon to look at this specific tripod, you're gonna see that it's offered in a tube diameter of 29 millimeter or 32 millimeter. I highly recommend you go with a 32 millimeter. It's just gonna make your legs even stronger. It's a little more beefier. And in my opinion, it's the way to go. Uh, you do have the option to purchase this without the ball head or with the ball head. I gotta tell you, this is a phenomenal ball head for the money. Uh, I see no option to buy a different one. So I would just go ahead and purchase the tripod with the ball head that it comes with and be done with it. Now guys, as I said, this is made of 10 layer carbon fiber. I can't really tell you how good of carbon fiber it is. I know that there's a lot of grades of carbon fiber. I don't have much experience with carbon fiber, guys. It definitely looks like real carbon fiber. It's very, very light, so it's probably legit. Now, it's probably not your top of the line, high-end performance carbon fiber but it serves its purpose really, really well, and it seems strong, so I'm happy with that. So let's talk about leg diameters, because I think a lot of people wanna know that. Is the leg diameter big enough to do what I need to do with it? Now, my rifle weighs about 16 pounds when I have my IR illuminator mounted on it, my night vision scope, a magazine, and it's ready to rip, okay? That's a pretty hefty payload. This thing is rated for 55 pounds, the ball head. Now, the tripod's actually rated for more than that. So, the leg diameters, the, the very top leg section has a 1.28 inch leg diameter. Guys, that's almost an inch and a half around. That's substantial. I mean, this isn't a cheap piece of crap photo camera tripod. This thing is built to work. So if you're gonna go out with your rifle set up, no issues here. Now, the second section of leg has a 1.14 inch diameter. So still over an inch in diameter in your second section of leg. Even still, in the third section of leg, we're at 1.01 inches in diameter. Guys, this thing is a tank. It's not until you step down to the very last section of leg that you go below an inch, and it's barely below an inch. We're talking 0.87 inches in diameter. So if you guys had questions about the strength of this tripod, don't worry about it. This thing is a beast, and it's gonna handle what you need to do with it. Okay, guys, so you're probably wondering how much does this thing weigh? So this tripod with ball head weighs exactly five pounds. Now you're probably like, that seems pretty heavy. Well, it's not. The Bog Death Grip tripod weighed eight pounds. That's a pretty hefty payload to be lugging in and out of the woods with you when you need to take it on the go. The three pound savings with this package, which by the way is a much more compact package, is night and day. When you guys hang on to this tripod, versus say the Bog Death Grip or, or any other types of tripods out there, it is noticeably lighter and noticeably more compact. So that is a really welcome feature in this tripod. So with this tripod, you get this really nice carrying case. So this bag is actually really high quality. It's padded. The zipper on it is very high quality. You're not gonna break the zipper on this bag. Along with that, you get some hardware for the tripod. So you get a small little piece that is a center column. In case you don't want this long extension, you can use this one that comes with it that completely makes it so you can't move that neck up or down. You also get two of these Arca Swiss camera mount plates. Now these are useless for a rifle, but they're great for camera equipment and things of that nature. So I strongly suggest you hang on to this if you like making videos like I do. Next, you get these spikes. Now these are pretty aggressive spikes, guys. I would say definitely don't use these spikes if you're hunting on any ground. You don't want to mar up because these are pretty rugged. These screw right into the bottom of your feet. I will say the only issue with these is you can't use the rubber feet and the spikes. I would have really liked to have seen the ability to thread the spike in underneath the rubber foot and maintain that rubber foot should you still want that ability. Okay, so now that we've got that all out of the way, you guys are probably wondering, how does the rifle go into this tripod and how does it actually work as a shooting tripod? So I'm gonna quickly put my rifle in this. Guys, this rifle has been cleared and safety checked. As you can see, nothing in the chamber, no magazine in the magwell we're gonna go ahead and put this in the tripod. So I have this tripod in an open position, the, the clamp head. Now, if you didn't purchase the clamping head, you will have a thumb screw. You'll wanna back that all the way out, set your rifle in and tighten that baby up as tight as you can get it. As you can see guys, the rifle 
has been clamped into this top plate and it is not going anywhere. This thing is very, very locked in. Now, I have full range of motion side to side, just like I did with the bog. I have full range of motion up and down, just like I did with the bog. But what is different about a ball head tripod is the ability to cant your rifle side to side. Now you're probably going, well, why would I want that? But like I mentioned earlier, if you're on unlevel ground and your tripod isn't perfectly level, so let's say your tripod has a slight slant to it, you're gonna need to accommodate for that as you pan and tilt with your rifle. So a ball head allows you that freedom and that, that range of motion. Now, go ahead and clamp that baby down. She's solid as a rock, not going anywhere. You can tighten that turret so that you can't really move it side to side. Now, I didn't tighten that very tight, but if I tightened that all the way, it would be very difficult to move that rifle side to side. And so this locks up really, really well. It's uh, very easy to make accurate shots with this tripod, just like it is with the bog tripod. You do have a little bit more flex in this than you do the bog tripod, I will admit that. The rifle can kind of move, wiggle around a little bit, and you notice that at long range distances. Okay guys, so final opinions on the NRL tripod. By the way, the model number on this tripod is GT324C. Okay, NRL has some pretty long and obnoxious names for their tripods, but that is the model of this tripod. And as I mentioned earlier, the top clamping plate that I had, I purchased as an addition to the tripod is the DDC60LR made by Sunway Photo. You can buy that right on eBay, and that's the place where I got the best price for it. And they offer the smaller one as well, the 50 and the 40. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this tripod? I actually really, really love this tripod. It's been a great addition to my arsenal and to my hunting gear. It's definitely lightened my load as I go in and out of the field, and it is a much more convenient setup and takedown process than the Bog Death Grip was for me. These quick adjust leg dials that, that tighten these leg sections down, they're like a quarter to a half a turn. You pull the leg out, quarter to a half a turn to tighten it back up. It's just quicker easier and in turn a better experience so for the price you pay for this tripod which you're looking at around 250 dollars shipped to your door i would strongly recommend this over the bog death grip now i know many of you have purchased a bog death grip per my recommendation that is a great tripod and i can't really say anything bad about it and i'm going to hold true to my opinions and to my review that i did of the bog death grip previously on the channel. I wanna tell you guys about something that's probably not gonna be very popular among some retailers out there. These tripods are being offered by a lot of different companies as a premium predator hunting option. They're no different, guys. This tripod can be had for half the money that a lot of those companies are asking. I'm not gonna name any companies and I'm not gonna name any different tripod names or whatever they're calling them, but I will tell you, they're no different. These tripods are very good quality and a lot of companies have caught on to that and they've started purchasing them and rebranding them as their own. And then unfortunately they're selling them for over twice what you can have one for if you just go on Amazon and buy it yourself. So I've done the research for you guys, I've proven this and it's facts. I'm trying to save you guys a little cash, save your money, go on Amazon, support Interrel, the actual company who makes these tripods, and be happier in the field. Okay guys, well that's gonna do it on this review. I'm gonna try and edit this to make it a lot shorter than it was when I recorded it. I had a lot of things I wanted to say, but my videos get windy sometimes. The new studio is awesome. I can't thank you all enough for your support on the channel and your continued support, and I can't wait to see where this goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope you learned something about tripods. And I hope you know why I switched from the bog death grip. Go get yourself an NRL tripod if you're serious about predator hunting. It will make your job much easier and you'll have a much better time in the field. Okay guys, well until next time on On The Hunt, see you later.